Welcome back. I'm going to start this video just about chatting about what it's like to come into a practice now because there's new rules in place uh, since COVID. So before when you came to visit your dentist or your hygienist, you'd come into the practice you'd let the receptionist know that you were here and you'd have a seat in the waiting room but now we have to do things slightly different so now we ask that once you arrive uh, outside the main door that you ring the practice to let us know that you're here and we just make sure that it's safe for you to come up and once you enter then i have a new patient here ava so Ava, if you step up here so ava would have already phoned in and uh, let us know that she's here uh, I'm just going to get you to use some alcohol. Thank you. And just rub it around really well. Well done. And another thing that we do now is we check people's temperatures as well. That's perfect. Okay. And we'll go in here now and go straight into my surgery. Ava, you're here today for a fissure sealant. Yes. So before I all any, ever do anything, I always explain to you exactly what I'm going to be doing. So, two, four, out some gloves. I'm just going to pop this around you. So, I'm going to show you on the tooth model so that it's easy for you to see and, um, and it's easy for everyone at home to see as well. So, uh, Ava's here today, as I said, to have some fissure sealants done. Fissure sealants are a type of uh, material that we put on top of the tooth surface. So on all of our teeth, on your teeth and your parents' teeth and your grandparents' teeth, we all have these little fissures in our teeth. So they're normally on our back biting teeth, our premolars and our molars. And what we're trying to do is prevent the bacteria or the bugs from causing damage in these little fissures. So often the bacteria can hide in there and sometimes a toothbrush does, just doesn't get into the crevices because they're really narrow and deep. So what we suggest doing then is putting in the fissure sealants. So the fissure sealant will slide into the crevices and when the bacteria come along, because they're looking to cause trouble in your mouth, they realize that there is a barrier there, which is the fissure sealant, they can't get through it so they move on or you brush them away with your toothbrushing. So the instruments that I will be using today, so this is called a slow handpiece. There's a tiny little bristle on the top of it and the reason it is so small is you can imagine how small these little crevices or fissures are in your mouth when you think about the size of your tooth. So this needs to be really narrow. So the first thing we have to do is clean in these crevices with something called Profi. Profi is like a really powdery toothpaste. So we have to make sure that any debris that's there, that it's gone, we need to make sure that any bacteria that could be hiding in along there, that it's gone. Because what we don't want to do is trap the bacteria underneath the fissure sealant. So I start by polishing it really, really well. And once I'm happy that I feel that it's clean, this is called a three-in-one. It sprays out water and air, like so. I spray it around the tooth, and then I suction out the water and the paste. And then I dry the tooth to make sure that I'm happy that it's clean. And then when it's cleaned, we use this. This is called etch, and we just put some out like this. And then we pick some up and I will brush it into all the fissures. This again is to make sure that the tooth is nice and sterile and clean and it also allows for the fissure material to stick to the tooth. So I will wipe it around. Now, the thing, the most important thing for me as a dental hygienist with doing fissure sealants is to keep the area really, really dry. 
So I will have you keep your mouth open. You will get breaks in between, and I'll always let you know when you can close up and have a break, because it, it's hard work keeping your mouth open. So I might use these cotton wool rolls to put in around the teeth, so that if there's any saliva around, cotton wool roll will soak up the saliva. Because if I get any saliva on top of the tooth in the middle of what I'm doing, um, the fissure sealant wouldn't work. So that's why I have to keep it really, really dry. So after I've used the edge, I leave it sit there for around 20 seconds, and that's to make certain that it has done its work and I have a sterile tooth. I then wash that off again with this 3-in-1 and I suction out all the water, I suction out the, the edge. Now sometimes you can get a bit of a taste at, at this point. So I dry the tooth, I make sure that all the edge is gone and then I use the fissure sealant. The fissure sealant, it's a liquid inside here and I only put it out on my tray at the very, very end because sometimes the lights or overhead light here, it can actually set it. So I will put on a tooth and then this is called a curing light. So it sets the material. I'll hold this into the tooth. It doesn't sit on the tooth, it just sits near the tooth. It'll be a blue light and it will set the fissure sealant. And then at the end, it's really important that I check that the fissure sealant is stuck correctly to the tooth so I make sure it's sitting into all the crevices and I make sure that it's securely in place, okay? And you might have a strange taste in your mouth for an hour or so afterwards, um, but other than that, you know, it, it won't be strange at all. So I'm going to rest you back. I'm gonna get you to pop on these glasses. And I'm gonna rest the chair back. Okay, I'll get you to pull back in the chair. So the first thing I do, I'll just go up around your mouth. Well done, and close up. Okay, Eddie, you've been keeping them really, really clean since I've seen you last, so I'm happy to get going with the fisher sealant. Okay, so I'm going to start that. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening today, and uh, I'll see you again. Bye.